by force energy of all that is of unconditional love. So in my situation, I would say I become the plug, in a sense, for the, the person, the animal, the place, even sending love to the situation from things that are happening, you know, around the world. If we concentrate on sending love, unconditional love, to the situation, it changes the frequency because of the thought form. And we know most people are aware in some way that thoughts become things. Um, Dr. Moto is very well known um, for his work with water and how thoughts become things. He's proven it holding um, water and making um, snowflakes out of this water, proving that thought forms do become things. So we're sending this love of unconditional love energy and it brings the frequency up because the lower frequency can no longer stay. Um, then when the person maybe feels this energy from wherever you get it, from music, um, from the treatment, from going to nature, from being in sunlight, um, from breathing, breath work and connecting to all that is, yoga, qigong, all of these forms then the homework begins for you, just like after the heart was brought up by um, fibrillation to 100% frequency. It's then the person's opportunity to use what I call wellness tools and hold that frequency as best they can. And, you know, I do use certain tools to allow the person to learn equip themselves to be um, the highest frequency that they can. Hmm. Um, I'm going to take the opportunity to, to welcome any latecomers to the Epic Voyages show here, Constantina on InceptionRadioNetwork.com. And we're speaking with Constantina Vasiliades. She is a, an educator in holistic health. And her specialty, well, I guess one, I'm just going to say one of your specialties, because I know you have several, is in uh, working with energy. Um, and I've been sitting here listening to you, and several questions have popped into my head. When you talk about being grounded, and I, I've heard that term, oh, at least since the, the early or the mid-70s, being grounded, you need to ground yourself, you're ungrounded, Um what, is that, what does that mean in terms of your energy field if you're grounded? Well, you know, the Earth has an electromagnetic energy of its own, the same as all of us do. And our electromagnetic energy is connected to the Earth. That's kind of our uh, life force from the feet down, if you will. Um, the same as a tree, a uh, tree has its trunk deep into the earth. We are also, in a sense, have an energy field that goes down into the earth. And this is our electromagnetic grounding. But with all this happening, you know, in our world and on the earth today, it does change. And because what we experience in our lives and feed us ourselves and what happens to us allows us to not be as connected on that energy Like I said before, if you go to the beach and you put your feet in that sand or you go to the forest and have your feet on the the, uh, bare ground or even in your yard, you can feel the difference in how you feel because you are then connecting to that energy. If you shuffle your feet in your house on carpet and you touch someone, you can see that we are electromagnetic beings. If you... Uh, have pictures taken, thermography pictures, you know, with a camera that you can see the energy fields, you can see that we are electromagnetic beings of a certain frequency. And other frequencies either assist us in maintaining or, you know, can actually do the opposite. So to be grounded is very powerful in order for us to function in the physical being that we are as compared you know, to the spiritual being. Um, I know that when, and nothing against Christmas itself, but when I go to shopping malls, I feel like someone has just uh, 
someone's chasing me around with a hatchet and I have to get out of there as soon as I possibly can, I'm going to guess that that's got something to do with the energy that's being given off inside those malls? Yes. I mean, it, some people are very affected by the lighting. Um, that type of uh, lighting in the bulbs that they use is not the same as us. It's not like sunlight um, being outdoors, and so it does, and you can hear. Some people can hear um, the sound that, that that lighting puts out, those type of fluorescent bulbs, and it does, in a sense, um, wreak havoc on our electromagnetic field, not to be confused with maybe what some people are feeling, you know, in that, in the mall you know, feeling stressed, feeling hectic. You know, you'd hope that most of it is a joyous feeling, but um, it is rushed, you know, for some people. And, you know, but I would imagine, you know, what a lot of people feel is the immense amount of energy of everyone all around you and Uh also, you know, the fluorescence. And if Uh you're not used to that, you know, that can be pretty powerful of a pull. Well, I would have probably guessed that it was the the nature of people's stress going out to spend money and worrying about if they should be spending it to start with and trying to find a parking right. place and so on and so <laughs> forth. Yeah. It is right. pretty stressful. It um, is. You know, it is. Tell us, tell us a little bit about, you mentioned Reiki and QT, uh, Quantum Touch, uh, and uh, I can't speak the Chinese as well as I heard you just say it. Is it Tan, Tan Ren or what was the other? Um, yes, there's uh, Tan Ren and also Qigong. Mm-hmm. Tell us what those are about. I know a little about Reiki and, and Quantum Touch, but I don't know about the other two, and I'm not sure that uh, everybody out there has heard of them. And this is what we're talking about tonight, Constantina, is something that Without a whole lot of, like, you don't need to dedicate yourself to 25 years of hard study to be able to start using these uh, skills, right? If you understand it and you practice it and you're trained and you work with someone who knows what they're doing, you can actually be improving your own health, right, with some of these techniques? Yes, uh, definitely. Um, And most people that I have worked with have chosen to go on and um, take the courses because... They are easy enough that anyone can do them. You know, we're born with this innate ability to heal. You know, it's a a nature. If someone's hurting for you to put your hands on them, it's the first thing that a mother does if her child is hurt or an animal will uh, run and start licking its baby. We're born with this ability to heal not only ourselves but others. And somehow... You know, we just kind of lost it along the way or lost the fact that it is there. And if we um, practice or learn how to do it, if we've never practiced it before, it amplifies the more you use it. Um, Reiki is probably the only one that I would say, you know, that requires what's called an attunement, um, and that is an activation of spiritual um, symbols in the crown chakra so that when you ask for the energy, it comes through your body and out your hands. It's just a a very beautiful connection to God force energy. Whereas quantum touch is a very scientific love-based energy work that shows you how to amplify by breath work resonance, and entrainment, which we sort of touched upon um, resonance and entrainment being when two magnets are put together, the lower magnet will always rise to the higher magnet. Hmm. Uh, two, two clocks will always start beating you know, at the same time when put together. Um, it's pretty common to see this happen, and so quantum touch is a type of breath work where you can raise the frequency and the person who is receiving the treatment, who I call the healer, then raises up to the frequency that you are creating. And it keeps happening a little bit at a time like steps. 
through areas of thought form, loving thought form, breath work, and raising the bar, so to speak. So it keeps raising, you raise it, the other person bring, comes up to meet you. You raise it a little more. And this is what continues. It's a beautiful and easy energy work to learn and to use. Um, even uh, children, I've taught children's classes and they just love it as well as Reiki. The mm. Tong Ren is in itself a totally different area. That's what I like to call acupuncture without needles. Mm. You know, if we are a little more advanced, if we're in the medical field or we know a bit about meridians, um, yoga, um, qigong, certain areas where we know some of the meridians in the body, you can then use energy works like quantum touch, Reiki, or even um, on the body or in thought form to go directly to the point or to the meridian and open that area specifically when the area is low to create a healing for that area, like you would open the heart meridian, the person, you know, was having high blood pressure or um, open the different, um, the liver meridian to help with, you know, toxins in the body. It's an amazing work created by a uh, Qigong man who literally ran out of needles one day doing acupuncture and realized that since he did energy work, of course, I can do it without the needles. And so they teach people in his class how to work specifically on their own dis-ease or imbalance using the Tong Ren. They don't have to know acupuncture and all the meridians. They can learn just the basic ones if they're sick or they have cancer or they just want to work on their immune system. They can learn how to apply the technique to the specific meridian indigenous to their healing. And that's very powerful because when we're doing the healing work, you can send energy, just like prayer is another way, to any part of the body. But realize that the person, the emotional you know, issues that may have caused that imbalance are there. And so if you can go directly to the point physically, it assists the body to say it's okay to heal in this area uh, because you're pinpointing it as opposed to just a general, um, you know, ray of light, so to speak. And lastly, the Qigong is a form of energy work that is very gentle. You can practice it on your own. Um, It's a form of movement where we are feeling and bringing energy into the body and hence resonating, vibrating, at a very powerful place, depending on how um, how much you use it. The basic Qigong videos that I use are extremely powerful, even for the beginner. Um, the very first time that people ever do it, they feel it, and they can feel the energy all the way down to their feet, to ground, like you were speaking of earlier. If they've never felt it before, they feel that energy, you know, going deep into the earth. Uh-huh. So that's another way, and they also have a form of breath work in the Qigong. And the last form of energy work is, of course, the tools, you know, that we would use. Um, I use the quantum balance crystals because they're associated with the chakras, and each person is drawn to a specific color depending on what area is in balance. And... These pendants allow the body to create a field of energy that allows that area to maintain its frequency. So in a sense, you yourself are holding the vibration then that you've been working on. So, you know, you don't have to constantly, you know, keep going for a treatment or, you know, as long as you're doing your part um, with food healing, you know, changing the diet, etc. And that's you know, in a nutshell, how all of the different energy forms 